Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. You have the Queen of Swords here. So we have somebody that could be very smart here. Okay, somebody that's very clear. We have the Star. We have like somebody that is like a, seems like a judge or a spiritual someone that has very good discernment someone that has very good judgment but on like a higher level and they are it's like they know for sure that somebody is chosen nine of pentacles here like somebody's very prosperous somebody is is very like they feel it feels like somebody has their own somebody is has put the time in the work the effort it's clear to somebody it's clear or this is this type of person it's a person that just has very good judgment they're very honest they're very known for their honesty okay they're very direct and this is somebody that could have made a, a living off of this like someone that is just being real, if you get what I'm saying. Wow, you got the nine of swords here. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. This queen of swords is filled. Wait a minute. Let me see. We got the page of pentacles here. Damn, this queen of swords still knows that this is a chosen one, but they, they don't like it. They do not like it. They know that this is a chosen one. They hate that shit. Somebody is so prosperous, though. It's page of pentacles and you got the nine of pentacles. Somebody's so young. Okay. They may not even know how much time you put into this. They may not even... I feel like this person can see the fruits of your labor. That's what I feel. I feel like this this is somebody that's very judgy, okay? It's somebody very judgy, but they know what they know. And they know that you're a fucking chosen one. They know that without a doubt. And that shit worries them. It gives them anxiety. It truly gives them anxiety, but it's like they can't deny it though. That's the thing about the Queen of Swords. They can't deny it. Damn, you got the seven of wands here. It's like, I feel like there's somebody here standing up for themselves. The only thing we don't have, we don't have cups. Yeah, that's it. We don't have cups. We got a court card. We got a major arcana. We have pinnacles, sword and wands. We don't have any cups. That's the only thing. I don't think this person really like you like that. Like they don't love you. Let's say it like that. They don't. They probably don't know you. Okay. I'm just being honest. What's this at the bottom? The strength card. Look at that. Look at somebody's courage. Somebody's strength. Okay. There's somebody here holding their own. There's a power to somebody like an inner strength. And I think this is exuding off of this star. I even think that this seven of wands is representative of this strength card. Like somebody fights back or somebody holds their ground. Okay. And it's it like it's like a direct reflection in some kind of way. Like why this nine of pentacles is with this seven of wands is because somebody stands up for themselves. They don't back down. 
it's like somebody had to fight for this. Somebody had to fight for their spot. So they're not about to give it up. Okay. And this Queen of Wands sees that. They see that you are a chosen one. They see your strength. Okay. They see your regalness. They see all of this. They cannot deny it. Queen of Sword is about the facts. And the facts is the pinnacles. That's the earth element right there. That's they can't deny what they're seeing. They can't. It's something about like the evidence doesn't lie. And that's why this person is worried because it is true. And they're look they're probably looking at you like you're young or you just started something or you're only at the beginning of manifesting something or you're only at the beginning of some stages or something like that. But it's like you still fight for your spot. Ace of Pentacles here. Opportunity. This could be something new that's coming in. Hmm. This could be an opportunity or a job. Because I see this nine of Pentacles and this would make it 10 with this Ace of Pentacles. Like there's something that's coming in. Maybe that's what this Queen of Wands is worried about. I mean, not Queen of Wands. Maybe it's what, what this Queen of Sword is worried about. Could be a Queen of Wands too. I know I said it. But that's what they're worried about. They're worried about what's coming in. Like what opportunity is coming in. They're worried about the next thing. The next person pockets. Look at that. Two of Pentacles. Something is growing, man. It went from the Ace of Pentacles to the Two. That's already Three Pentacles. That's already something complete. That's already something balanced. Okay. That's already like. <sighs> oh. High priestess energy right here. Damn. I'm telling you, somebody knows. And they cannot deny it. They cannot deny it. And I just want to put this out there because this high priestess is on top of this star. You may be a reader. You may be an intuitive. You may be gifted in some kind of way. Because the high priestess knows things without really knowing. They know things that are beyond their perception. And... Either this is this Queen of Swords knowing this Queen of Swords can be a high priestess. Y'all both could really be, honestly, because it's a the high priestess is on top of the Queen of Swords and a star. It could be somebody that maybe they see you or they see your plan or they know what you're planning or you're accumulating or they know what you're trying to build or they know something. They know a lot. It's somebody that knows a lot. And that's why they're so worried because they know so much. Or they think they know so much. You have the four of pentacles. And you see, that's so interesting. It went from the one of pentacles to the two. I mean, the ace of pentacles to the two of pentacles. The high priestess is giving me three of pentacles. And then it went to the four of pentacles. The high priestess is part of something bigger. Like they're actually part of it. And I think that's another thing this Queen of Swords knows. They're actually a piece of the puzzle. There's already, it goes one, two, this is three, and this is four. But you know what's so funny? There's already three right here. One, two, three. Already three right there. This High Priestess is a piece of this puzzle. in some kind of way and it will be finished it will be fulfilled it will be secured like it'll be preserved look at that knight of wands like 
I feel like somebody is waiting for something. Like they're waiting for their moment to, let's say, release or move forward or to act on something. I feel like somebody is preparing or they're saving or they're accumulating or something is growing. Like there is something that is growing. There is something like, you know, how a plant starts at a seed and then it has the little thing come out a little bit and then it gets bigger and then the roots start growing and then, you know, the leaves start blooming and then the flower blooms. And then you get what I'm saying? Like there are stages to it. I see the stages actually playing out. Somebody, I don't know if they're actually seeing this happen or they think they're seeing the stages of it, but it's like you already have nine of pentacles right here. So unless they're they haven't seen the nine of pentacles or they haven't seen it i mean unless they haven't seen it or they're actually seeing the build up to the nine of pentacles because i feel the build up i feel the acceleration i feel the growth you have the queen of pentacles it's as if when it went from the four of pentacles the knight of pentacles took it all the way to the ten like the knight of pentacles represents the five of pentacles the six of pentacles the seven of pentacles the eight of pentacles the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles everything because it's it ends at the queen of Pen the queen of pentacles like this is about growth somebody sees it and they can't deny it it's about growth seven of sword <laughs> why the seven of sword and you know who the seven of sword is connected to right the queen of sword over here in this nine of sword okay these are the only swords here <laughs> they must think that you're doing something shady or you're doing something behind closed doors or you're doing something they think you're doing something to make this happen or to grow or to change or it's, it's like they really think something negative here they could even be talking about this like they think there's some type of deception or some type of trickery or you know you're using some type of tactics that's what they think like in order to grow like what tactic does a, a flower use i'm trying to figure out what tactic does plants use to grow out of the ground what tactic is that when you see something grow from the root it went from the one to the two the high priestess is the three this is complete right here this is complete somebody is complete Somebody knows the truth about something or they know something here. And then it goes from the four pentacles being solid. Knight of wands is the fastest moving knight. They go for their passion. They go for the, 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 they have the courage to see it through. They have the courage to act. You see someone standing up for themselves. You see the strength card right here. You see that this is their character. You see that it matches. And yet somebody still thinks some bullshit. Somebody still wants to be malicious or they want to do shit behind somebody's back or they want to talk this shit or they want to say something like why when you can clearly see it it's somebody is just worried like somebody fears you somebody fears your power there's so many people out there like this where you don't know why people treat you in a certain kind of way or you don't know this you don't know that but people feel like Oh, it's unfair you get something. It's unfair that you, they don't see that you earned it. The Nine of Pentacles does not come easy. It does not come easy. Page of Pentacles had to start at the bottom. Okay? This person <laughs> is just mad. They're just jealous. They're just jealous. That's all it is. That's what it boils down to. Knight of Pentacles. You work your ass off. They can't say shit. It went from the Page of Pentacles. You got the Queen of Pentacles. You got the nine, the Knight of Pentacles. You got the Nine of Pentacles. And you got all of the damn Pentacles leading up to it. This And yet this person concludes that you do something in order to make that happen. You do some shady shit. That does not make sense. It doesn't make sense, y'all. 
This person can see your strength. They just don't like it. They can see the proof. They just don't like it. Oh, what was that underneath there? Look at that. The eight of wands right underneath the knight of pentacles. So this is even, this is a slightly faster moving knight. Like the knight takes their time and they take, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say years. It could be years, months, whatever, but they take their time. They're the slowest moving knight. But you have the eight of wands right here, which lets me know that this shit is moving a lot quicker than normal. Like somebody's working their ass off here. They might be working overtime. I'm just being real. What's under the strength card? Queen of Sword. You see what I'm talking about? So this Queen of Sword might actually be a Leo. It might be a fire sign. This is somebody that is just a cold hearted person and they see the truth and they don't like the truth and they're judging the truth. They're judging the truth here. Man, Queen of Sword, the strength card here. They're judging your strength. They're judging you for having strength. They don't like your strength. And didn't I mistakenly call the Queen of Swords the Queen of Wands? I was saying, yeah, it could be a fire sign also. But wow, the way that this comes out, I think this person feels like you're moving faster than them or something like that, or you move faster than them. They're judging your strength. <laughs> because they're hurt they're judging your strength because they don't understand it doesn't compute to them that you're a star that you're a chosen one it doesn't compute they know it but they want the shit not to match they don't they don't want to add one plus one equals two they don't they they avoid the truth here because they're in fear of something. They're in fear of possibly your success. That's crazy as hell, man. That's crazy as hell. This person fears your success. This person fears your power. And they think that you're doing, look at this, Ace of Pentacles again. What, you want me to tell the story again? We got to start over at the root again so you can see that it started from the root. It started from the bottom. Like, this person does not, <laughs> they do not want to acknowledge it. They do not want to acknowledge it. You got another Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. They do not want to acknowledge your hard work. They want to ignore that someone started from the bottom. They want to ignore that. Your success scares the shit out of somebody. As if you don't deserve it. Look at them. Four of Cups here. Trying to miss it. Trying to overlook it. It's like they're very disconnected. Emotionally. This person does not want to look at the fact that you started from the bottom. They don't want to look at it. It's like they don't want to feel it. Look at that nine of wands here. Like somebody is strong as hell. That's just what it is. Let me look at this four of, of cups here. It's like just somebody is just disconnected from the truth of the matter. They're disconnected from the proof. They're disconnected from... It's like the proof is right in their face. Don't you see this big ass coin right here? It's like right in their face and they're missing it. It's the same. You see the hand is extending out right here. Look at this. It's like a hand from God. Okay. New opportunity. Come out of nowhere. Look at that. That same little hand and and, and um, look at this and I'm getting confirmation. That same little hand, they're ignoring it. They're ignoring the facts. They're ignoring the proof. The proof is too hard for them to bear. Like, they're like, oh, no, that can't be right. Like, I don't care what I'm seeing that. That just can't be right. Like, that doesn't add up. That doesn't seem right. I don't see how that's possible because it's really somebody like that. Giving all that. Look, Queen of Sword again. We got the Queen of Sword out here three times. The Queen of Sword is out here three times. And the only swords that's out here is the Nine of Sword and the Seven of Sword. Now, you tell me. You got the Queen of Sword right here. You got the Queen of Swords right here, and you got the Queen of Swords right here. <sighs> Look, I should have just left it at the Queen of Swords. 
They don't like the fact that you are an emperor, male or female. They cannot take it. They cannot take it. They cannot take it. Let me get an angel message here. It's like they just don't want to accept the facts. They don't want to accept what's in their face. They will do anything to fight against it. Anything that they can think of to go against you. That is what they will do. That's the direction that makes sense to them. Anything that's that's <laughs> anything that don't make sense to your success. That's that's what makes sense to them. It says compassion. Mm -hmm. Look at this blessings and abundance. This person cannot accept it. They cannot accept it. I guess shit. I don't know if this is a message to have compassion for them because you're blessed anyway. Because this is also like open heart, like somebody's heart is not open. And it's so funny. The compassion card fall right on top of the four of cups. Like somebody is lacking compassion. That's what they're lacking. They're disconnected in that kind of way. They're too cerebral. Like it's so weird. Like what if you know how we have a certain amount of days that it takes for a plant to grow. But what if your plant grew a little faster? You would say that there's something going on. Like maybe you just put the right amount of water. Maybe you gave it the right amount of sun. Maybe you gave it the right plant food. None of these things will they like say, oh, it must be that. None of those things. They're just like, oh no, this must be some witchcraft. <laughs> like this person doesn't make any sense. They're disconnected emotionally and nothing you do will be right for them nothing nothing you do as long as you grow as long as you make it as long as you get where you're trying to go they will always think that there's something behind the scenes that you're doing to get where you're trying to go i'm gonna leave it right here if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe thank you so much for your like shares and subscribes I really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.